going to be a back to school makeup haul type video. I went to Sephora and I also went to the drugstore while I was in Ottawa so I picked up a few things and I don't normally go to Sephora that many, like I don't splurge on items at Sephora that often during the year so I thought that I would get a few things for back to school because they were having a couple of like deal type things and just to let you know this is like one of the last videos I'm going to be filming in my room that it's probably going to be like this, maybe, I'm not really sure, because I am going to college and my room is a complete mess. This hasn't, <laughs> what? This isn't actually my bed, this is a queen size bed that has been moved into my room because my bed is in the trailer getting packed to go to college this weekend. So my room is a mess, so if you see anything that's not supposed to be there, like that thing, I don't know what that is, sorry about it. But anyways, I went to Sephora and they were having the new VIP Rouge whatever event thing and so basically if you were a VIP you got three times the points so I was like hey I want three times the points so I bought some stuff and then <clears throat> a couple days after that I got an email saying that if you spent over forty five dollars you got a little cosmetic gift bag with a whole bunch of samples in it and everything was basically what I wanted to try from Sephora so I had to go back and spend forty five dollars is basically what that meant so I did and yeah so, that's why I have a haul video for you today, and then I also picked up some stuff from the drugstore, so let's go ahead and get into the haul. Um, I'll save this for after, but the first thing that uh, was an essential that I needed to pick up from Sephora was the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Uh, the one I had before this lasted me so, so long, like, I want to say like a year and a half. It was ridiculous, and I used it every single day, so this was definitely a must for me. And they changed the packaging since then. They changed it a while ago, but I didn't need a new one. So it just looks like this, and I don't really know why it came with another cap on it. But anyway, got this. Um, I don't think they sell the extra large version of this in Canada, or else that's what I would have gotten. But I love this stuff. Can't live without it. Kind of thing. So I got that. The next thing I purchased was definitely not something I needed, but I figured it would be good to have anyway because I have been using my beauty blender a lot and I don't have a cleaner for it and I tried cleaning it with like my baby shampoo stuff and it was really really difficult and it didn't get it clean. So I picked up the beauty blender cleanser solid and basically it's like a solid soap. What a scam. But it's basically a solid chunk of soap and you clean your sponge on it, you kind of like move it around and it seemed to work pretty well. My sponge came out pretty clean. Um, it smells like lavender. I know. So, that's cool. This was $20, which is ridiculous, but whatever. I want my brushes and sponges to be clean because I don't want to break out from it, so that's why I got it. And so those were the two things that I purchased on my first trip to Sephora. The second trip to Sephora, I purchased two things. Another two things, because I had to spend $45. You heard the story. The first one I got was one of the new Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks, and I got the color Jilted. Jilted? It's like a... I don't know, it's felt like that. To start off, I absolutely love the packaging of these lipsticks. They are just so fancy. This is probably like the most high-end lipstick I own. So, it's gorgeous. And it has like this uh, gunmetal silver, it's plastic, but like barrel coating. I don't know where I'm going. And then the tube is purple, and then my actual lipstick is kind of more of a berry color. So it looks like this, and I'll swatch it, and I was had fall in mind when I was buying this. And they are so pigmented, and so thick, and creamy, and moisturizing. I've already worn it a ton, and I absolutely love it. I definitely want to pick up some more colors, and they're on the more reasonable side of high-end makeup. I think this was like $26, which is better than a YSL lipstick for like $40. So I definitely recommend these. They're really good, and they kind of stain your lips, so they do last a really, really long time. And yeah, I'm really, really impressed with these, so I got that. And then the next thing I got was also something that I've been wanting for a really, really long time, and I couldn't, like, justify myself purchasing it just because I don't do that, but this time I'm like, ah, I'm going to get it. And the thing I'm talking about is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs, and this is the Oh So Fresh. Oh So Fresh. It's the Perfume Rollerball. And it's going to take me a while to get it out. And I was going to get the original one, but then I smelt this one, and it smelt a little bit lighter and, like, fresher, I guess. So I chose this one over that one. And so it just looks like this, and it's so pretty. And I always have perfumes, but I never end up using them all up. So that's why rollerballs are so good, because 
you get a ton of perfume and it it lasts you such a long time you don't need to buy the full size and, and since I like wearing different scents and stuff this is perfect because I can just toss it in my bag and yeah it's fantastic and I really like how the top has a little daisy on it so, so yeah I got this and I'm absolutely in love with the scent when I smelt it in the store it smelt kind of more like alcohol but once I got it home and put it on my body I really really like the scent of it and like I said it's just really fresh and florally so highly suggest smelling this next time you're in Sephora so those are all the actual things I purchased from Sephora. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what was in the little cosmetic bag that you got. You spent $25, and lots of the stuff in here I really, really wanted to try, so I'm just going to pull it out. The first one is the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Cleanser that I will save. It's a really cute little bottle. So got that, and then the next thing you get was the Professional by Benefit, and it's just a little sample and I absolutely love this primer so these are really good for travel just a little sample so I was really happy that that was included the next kind of paper sample is the Bosca Luminizing Black Mask and this is definitely something that I really really wanted to try from this sample pack um, it's a peel off mask that's supposed to get rid of all your gunk and stuff on your face and I'm so excited to try it so if you have tried this mask let me know how it worked because I heard that it hurts but it's like worth it so let me know if you tried this because I'm really intrigued on like if it works I'm probably gonna buy the full size so yes let me know then the next thing in here is the Laura Mercier mascara the mini full-blown volume mascara so it's just a mini mascara it's super cute and then you also got a lip glaze from Stila and this is in the shade apricot and I really like the steel lip glazes and these are like the sample or the smaller tubes and I find this is an awesome amount of lip gloss like it's such a good size so I already have a few of these and I absolutely love them so I was really happy that I got another one of those and then the other lip gloss you got was a buxom lip gloss and I've never tried any buxom lip glosses I don't think I've tried any other buxom products other than my favorite mascara which is the buxom lash mascara but anyways this is the full on lip polish and this is in the color Dolly so it's just a really pretty like pink with gold shimmer and it kinda has like a mint 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 kind of has a mint feeling on your lips so it's kinda like almost like a plumping feeling but not really but I really like it and it's such a cute little size that you can throw in your purse so I love that and then the next thing in here is the yeah I'm not pronouncing that it's a little perfume sample looks like that not sure. Smells kind of manly, so not really sure how I feel about that. And then the last thing you got was a mini Sephora eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Queen for a Day, I think. Colorful mirror. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's like a gunmetal silver color. I think it'll be really fun to play with for like fall and winter, so I really like it, and it's really pigmented, and it's such a cute little sample size. And then also I redeemed 100 points, if you saw on my Instagram you knew this, but I redeemed 100 points of my like Sephora points and I picked up a mini Deborah Lipman nail polish and I don't own any Deborah Lipman nail polishes so I was really excited when I saw this and I'm like, I want that. And it's in the color Happy Birthday and it's just the cutest little bottle of nail polish you have ever seen. And I love glitter, I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now under, or sorry, over Essie's Fiji, and it looks fantastic, and I'm obsessed, so definitely worth the 100 points. I'm so happy about that. So the next couple of things I picked up were from Shoppers Drug Mart. The first one I got was the Instant Age Rewind Maybelline New York Dark Spot Eraser Concealer type thing. I actually got this because I wanted my mom to try it and stuff, but I did try it one day. I did really like it, however, it was a little bit like, almost like greasy feeling, like oily, not greasy. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to let her keep that because I don't really like it all that much. I do like my new mascara. It's not mascara. My new concealer from Makeup Forever, so I'm going to stick to that. But it was, it was a nice shot. Uh, the next thing I got was from Rimmel London, and this is the Apocalypse Lip, Lip Lacquer. And I got the shade... Apocalyptic? I'm not really sure what shade I got. It's this, like, hot pink color. And these are really cool. These are, like, really bright. So I did wear it to dinner one night, and it did leave, like, a ring around my lips, which isn't cute, so you do kind of have to apply it. But I found that it did stain. I feel like I'm just rambling. But it looks like this. Um, the wand is really cool because it has, like, an indent. I don't know if you can see that. 
But it's a really